touch switch. This circuit turns on the LED, with the touch of your finger, many a times, we need certain actions to be done, with a touch, instead of pressing a button, this simple circuit, does that using minimal components, this circuit can be coupled with a relay, to control electronic appliances with a touch, in this video, we will see the step by step instructions, on how to build a touch switch. These are the components, which are needed in this project. 3 NPN, transistor, BC547. 1 PNP, transistor, BC557. 1 kilo ohm resistor. 1 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. 1 10 kilo ohm resistor. 1 470 kilo ohm resistor. 1 mega ohm resistor. 1 4.7 mega ohm resistor. 1 red LED, tin wire, for making touchpad, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off, rocker switch, 1 zero PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project. When we touch the on switch pad, then it gives a high signal at the base terminal of transistor Q2, so Q2 gets on. Transistor Q2 is connected with the base terminal of transistor Q3, so it turns on the transistor Q3. When Q3 turns on, it gives a low signal to the base of transistor Q4, so, transistor Q4 gets on, and gives supply to the red LED. When LED gets the power, then it glow up. Base terminal of transistor Q2, is getting a high feedback signal through 4.7 mega ohm resistor. This signal will keep the transistors, Q2, Q3, and Q4, on. LED will remain on unless we touch the off pad. When we touch the off pad, then transistor Q1 turns on, and it gives a low signal to the base terminal of transistor Q2, so Q2 turns off. Transistor Q2 is connected with the base of transistor Q3, so it will off the transistor Q3. When Q3 turns off, then transistor Q4 also turns off, and it cuts the supply of the LED and make it off. This 1 mega ohm resistor will keep the base terminal low. LED remains off. Unless we touch the on pad again? These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the tin wire to make the touch pad.
Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the transistor Q2. Now we will solder the 1 mega ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 470 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the tin wire, to make the secondary part of the touch pad. Now we will solder the transistor Q3. Now we will solder the PNP transistor. Now we will solder the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 4.7 mega ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive, and black wire is for negative.
Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our circuit. When we touch the on pad, then LED turns on. When we touch the off pad, then LED turns off. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.